in hepatocellular carcinoma, we have really seen um, a tremendous progress in, in recent years, and specifically the IO-based combinations have made a significant impact. We are now evaluating these combinations also in earlier lines of, uh, uh, in earlier stages of HSC, highlighting their their high efficacy. And our standard of care at the moment is atezolizumab and bevacizumab based on the IMREF study, but there are more. Um, combinations that have been evaluated, and we have now seen the first data. One example is the Himalaya study. It was one of the largest phase three studies in the first line setting, a three arm study comparing bevalumab and single shot trimilimumab to sorafenib as standard of care, and also to single um, treatment with bevalumab. The study was positive, so there was a, um, a significant improvement for the stride regimen, the combination of Biova and Tremi compared to um, Serafinib, and also the non-inferiority for Dovalumab uh, was shown compared to um, uh, Serafinib. The data for Serafinib, uh, for, for Dovalumab, were very much in line with the data we have seen before for um, Nivolumab, so I think the picture is very consistent, and we can clearly conclude that there's a subgroup of patients that have of HSC patients that clearly derive a benefit also from single checkmate um, treatment. Nevertheless, um, the combination was more efficient uh, um, in, in terms of outcome parameters. There was slightly more toxicity, but overall the, the treatment was well tolerated. Here at SMOGI in Barcelona, we presented data on the effect of the underlying liver function on outcome with the and um, uh, and the stride regimen. Um, overall, I think we can conclude that um, liver impact and uh, liver function does not have a negative impact on the efficacy of um, both treatment. So the prognostic value of liver function was clearly confirmed. We used IB um, and specifically the IB score to evaluate liver function in this child QA population. Patients with a more impaired liver function, IB2, um, had a shorter survival compared to um, patients with a good liver function, IB1. But in terms of efficacy, PFS overall survival response rate, um, there was almost no difference um, for, for both the bottom up and the stride regimen um, in, in, in the Himalaya study which con confirms, in, in my view, um, that we do not really need to worry. And, and this, these drugs are clearly options um, for all patients that have been evaluated in the trial. All of these analyses are um, post hoc analyses, so we need to be cautious. But I think we need something for decision making. And I would strongly recommend all physicians to really look at, at the data that have been published for the different, for the different phase three studies on the effect of liver function. And there was really some striking differences. Um, and I think these data, these post hoc analyses should be uh, validated in real world cohorts. And then we, I think we can decide whether um, liver function can and should be used for decision making. At this point in time, I think it's more hypothesis generating and something that should be observed in the clinic, not only because of the potentially predictive value, but more importantly, due to the prognostic impact of liver function on survival of patients with HTC.